Wow, it's been a while since I've done one of these. <laughs> You may be wondering why it's been so long since I've done a favorites video, and that's because I really don't have that many products because I try to use what I have, and then when I run out of something, then I'll try something new. So I finally gathered enough new things to be able to make a favorites video for you. We're gonna start off with Love this mask from Origins. It's the Clear Improvement Charcoal Mask. And you put this all over your face, it feels really good, it dries, and then you kind of feel like you have Elmer's glue all over your face. You rinse it off and your face feels super clean and nice. This was recommended to me by Mama Bay. If you follow me on Snapchat, then you know that story and you can educate everybody down below in the comments. I guess I'm on an Origins kick right now because I also love the high potency, Vitamins Renewal Cream. And this smells like oranges, so that's the main reason why I like it. Yeah. It smells like you're putting an orange grove all over your face. And it's also really moisturizing, and my skin has felt a little bit dry because I've been traveling all over the place, and the weather has been, you know, different in all of these places. So this has been a great, like, intensive cream to use that doesn't feel heavy and greasy. You probably know that I love me some key sunglasses, so obviously I love these. But I love these even more because these are the sunglasses that Amanda Steele designed in collaboration with Key, and they are awesome. They have this like blush rim, like a peachy blush, and then the lenses themselves are like a purpley pink mirror lens, which is so cool and different. I love wearing them, and I love that I can put them on my head and they don't catch on my hair, because that's a real issue with a lot of sunglasses, especially when they have those little things that rest on your nose. It's like, ah, it's stuck in my hair! And then you yank out a bunch of hair. Nobody wants that. I got my Burks. I love my Burks. They are rose gold, and they're really comfy, and that is it. Bringing in my Numi Silhouette Straightener. Oh yeah. A lot of you probably know that I love Numi because I've talked about their stuff a bunch and they are the only hairstyling tools that I ever use. If you're not familiar with Numi, they're known for their high quality products like their straightening irons, curling wands, and styling sets. I like to have some wave in my hair, but since my hair is shorter now, it's kind of difficult for me to use a curling wand because I'll just straight up burn myself because I don't really have that much hair to work with. So instead, I've been using a straightener to add a little bend in my hair, which has been amazing because then I just have to carry one thing around with me. I just grab random sections of hair. I don't worry about them being even or the same size. I just grab them. And I take the straightener starting at the top and I gently start to twist it away from my face. And I'll just move it down to the ends of my hair, leaving the very ends out. And that's because I like having a straight edge at the bottom just because that's how I like to roll. And then I just keep doing that all around my head and it's super fast and I can do my hair in like five minutes and it's amazing. If you've been thinking about trying out a Numi product, now is the time, my friends. This moment, right here, right now. I'm working with Numi to bring you not one, not three, but two awesome promo codes. You can get 20% off the entire holiday collection, or you can pay $17 for this amazing straightener that I love and adore. If you're kind of on the fence about what to get, I really recommend the holiday collection because there are a ton of different options there and they make really awesome gifts. So get out there, go check out Numi, use my promo codes, all those links down below. Oh yeah. As you can see, I'm almost out of this shampoo, and it is the Bumble and Bumble Sunday Clarifying Shampoo. And the reason why it's called Sunday is because, in theory, you're supposed to use it on Sundays, so once a week, to really just get out all the gunk in your hair. Because I use like texturizing spray, hairspray, other shampoos, and you eventually get buildup in your hair. And now that my hair is a lot shorter, I just notice it a lot more, and my hair just falls flat. So I actually do like using this on 
on Sunday. Plus it smells good too. It has like a nice light clean scent to it so it doesn't leave your hair smelling all perfumey like other um, shampoos tend to do. I gotta say I love the Kardashian Beauty Dry Shampoo. I really didn't know what I was gonna think of their hairline but I love it. I'm also really liking the hairspray too but the dry shampoo? This stuff is good yo. I like the scent. It kind of has like how would I even describe this? I have to spray it to smell it. I guess it's kind of like a light floral scent. It's also paraben free and it doesn't leave a lot of like heavy residue in your hair. It just makes it feel clean. And I've used quite a bit of this. I think there's like that much left in the bottle. I love me a good palette, and this Tarte Showstopper palette is awesome. This has a bronzer that I don't really use, TVH, a highlighter that I use sometimes, and then these eyeshadows that I've kind of like dabbled in, and then a blush that I've never touched. So I'm really just saying that the eyeshadows in this palette are awesome, and I've used them pretty much every single day. I especially like this gold color here. I have it on my eyes today, and then I use this matte color in the crease and sometimes I'll use this as a liner, mix it with the brown a little bit. One day I will use the blush. I'm just trying to get through my ambient blush palette. But this is a really pretty blush color. I feel like I just forget that there's a blush in there to be totally honest. This may seem totally random because at first sight you're probably thinking this looks like a regular basic pencil sharpener. This one's from NARS. It only cost a few dollars and I got it because I was really looking for a pencil sharpener that didn't explode every wear in my makeup bag because I had the Anastasia one before and hated it. I hate using the word hate, but I really did not like it. So I was reading reviews on this pencil sharpener and people were saying that it's really sturdy, it doesn't break, it doesn't open up, and so I got it and it's pretty much the same price as the Anastasia one and it is way better. This thing keeps all of the shavings inside until you're ready to dump them out, it doesn't make a mess in your bag, and so I I cherish this very much. Oh, I got lipstick on it. But it's a NARS lipstick, so that's okay. Are you looking for a new deodorant? Well, I have a suggestion for you. This is the Meow Meow Tweet Cream Deodorant. It's baking soda free. I've used it so much that there's just barely any left in the container. This is a cream consistency deodorant. And if you're wondering like, how the heck would a cream deodorant even work? I feel like it would just make me smellier and make me feel greasy. Well, the really cool thing about this is it starts off as this like thick, almost like a balmy cream consistency. You put it in your hands, warm it up a little bit and it melts. So then you can apply it with your fingers underneath your arms and I know it seems really foreign, especially if you're used to using like a spray or a stick deodorant, but it actually is really easy, especially if you're already wearing clothing. Instead of sticking like a bar up your shirt, you just put your finger like down your shirt like that and get it in there. Cause I know that I put my clothes on all the time and I realize, oh, I forgot the ode. So you put it on and then it dries into this like waxy consistency. So I find that even though this is a deodorant and doesn't have like antiperspirant qualities to it, it does help me with wetness underneath my arms. And it just has a really light, lovely grapefruit scent. It doesn't smell like anything artificial. And I think it really works. I've shared this with other people in my life who have been skeptical and everyone is always like, oh my God, this stuff is amazing. So normally this would be the part where I talk about nail polish or a nail product that I'm really loving, but GBH, I've just been loving having bare nails because if you have followed me for a while, then you know that I've pretty much worn nail polish every single day for like the last five and a half, maybe six years, which is a really long time. I didn't let my nails breathe for a long time. I got gel nails once and they really damaged my nails and so I decided to let them breathe for a while. And then I just started to like having bare nails because I don't have to worry about anything chipping. And for everyone out there who is thinking, you only like short natural nails now because you're a lesbian, that is false. First of all, that's a stereotype because you can have any length of nail that you want. It's really just a personal preference. You can make it work both ways, long and short. And I've just never enjoyed having long nails, so I've always had short nails. So just putting that fun fact out there for you. 
I love Campari's chocolate. The obsession has not stopped. And I really love the vegan zen chocolate because I think this is maybe the only vegan chocolate that they have. And it has dark chocolate, kale, sesame, and pumpkin. Pumpkin? Pumpkin seeds in it. It's 75% premium cocoa, which is pretty high, which means it's very intense, but I like that in my chocolate. Personally, I don't think you can go wrong with Campari's chocolate. Their milk chocolate is good, their dark chocolate is good. Plus, the packaging for all the bars are like a piece of art because every flavor has a different package, which is really cool. This one makes you feel super zen. This is a book that I've been reading recently and I'm not finished with it, but I really love it. Also, I just noticed that this is an autograph copy. I didn't notice an autograph. Oh, it is. <laughs> Would you look at that? This book is called Me, My Hair, and I, 27 Women Untangle an Obsession. Essentially, this book is filled with different essays talking about hair. Every woman is a different age, a different color, has a different hair type, a different hair story. Hair may seem like something that's frivolous and superficial at first glance, but the reason why I got this book is because I read the blurbs on the back and I realized that each of these women has a different story. I think the last paragraph in the introduction does a great job at summarizing the message of this book. While it's easy to make light of our obsession with hair, very few of the writers in these pages do that. We get that hair is serious. It's our glory, our nemesis, our history, our sexuality, our religion, our vanity, our joy, and our mortality. It's true that there are many things in life that are more important than hair, but few that matter in quite these complicated, energizing, and interconnected ways. As near as I can tell, that's the long and short of it. Even though I'm not finished with the book, I've loved reading it so far. There's a young girl who gets cancer and talks about, you know, how chemotherapy was like the ultimate no takes bar stylist because she lost all her hair. You hear the stories of African American women, women that are older and talk about being younger and then aging and how they embrace their hair when they get older. I think it's a fascinating read and if you're somebody that's interested in beauty, I think that this this is a great book to read because it's not only talking about beauty, it's talking about all of these other things in life that hair is a part of. And I really agree that there are way more important things in life than hair, but few are as complex because how many things out there can represent your sexuality, your religion, your personality, etc., etc. Hair is really unique in that way and everyone has their own history. So maybe you can't tell the story of your life, but you can probably tell the story of your hair. And that within itself is a pretty cool one. That's gonna be it for today. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I've been loving this month because I love all of these things and I love sharing love with you. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, spectacular day and I'll see you in my next vid. You know what this means? I have red lipstick on and I'm coming in for a kiss. Oh yeah.